What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I am coming to you with One Hive Labs. We are bringing a special announcement about the rolling out of our new clan, One Hive Venom. So I am here live with Do Work Son, uh, Invictus co-leader, and uh, the leader of One Hive Venom. How you doing, my man? Hey, what's going on, brother? Not a much, not a much. Just uh, glad to pump out a little bit of a promotional video for our new division of the 2.0 family. Uh, so One High Venom, tell us what it, what, what is it all about? What, uh, what are you guys looking for? What are the goals with the clan? Uh, just take us through it. Yeah, not a problem. So, uh, you know, everybody's been asking. Everybody's always curious when uh, our side of the family is going to be rolling out with uh, a Town Hall 8 clan. Uh, you know, me and a, a whole bunch of the other the co-leaders and other people that were highly active in the formation of Venom, uh, we got together, we talked it out, and we thought it would be a good idea to move forward with it. Uh, so what we did, you know, we created One Hive Venom, and for the, right off the bare minimum, you got to you gotta be a Town Hall 8. You have to have at least half of your level 8 walls uh, with a level 5 Barb King. Uh, that'll get you looked at. One, you know, once you get get past the pre-screening stage where they accept your application, uh, you'll head over to One Hive Venom, uh, and what you'll do there is you, you'll work with uh, some of the guys that are already in One, you know, One Hive Invicta. Uh, there's a, and you'll get basically you'll get a chance to pick their brain uh, and, and become a a very strong Town Hall Eight. So as soon as you hit Town Hall Nine. Uh, I mean, you already have the in and outs, so that way when you progress through later on down the road in your promotions, you'll already be adapted to the the One Hive family. You'll be adapted to how we think, uh, and it'll just make a much stronger unity plan. Yeah, it's a really good transition because let's be honest, when you get to Town Hall Eight, that's really when the war game starts. Like Town Hall Seven. I mean, not exactly. saying people don't war at Town Hall Seven, but it's it start you start to see what war is really all about at town hall eight um so yeah i see what you're saying that really gives people a chance to get into the one hive system we can say right you get you get used to the chats uh right. you know the sketches and every, everything how we like to have things done moving up through swarm and invicta um so yeah that, that is awesome really gonna help guys uh just prepare um from ground level right like it's a difference you know when you're taking town hall nines with 15 15 heroes well they've already they've already gone through through a big gap of playtime uh, concerning war, uh, so this gives us a chance to really, really groom groom some people coming up through the chains, right? So, um, exactly so what, what what would happen? What what thinking long term? Uh, what are our goals now with One High Venom to to really do for the for the family? So for the time being, uh, the whole promotion scheme goes from One High Swarm to One High Invicta to two point uh, and it, essentially, we're going to kind of keep that same that same ideology, go from One Hive Venom, One Hive Invicta, if you meet the bare minimum Town Hall 9 requirements. Uh, but those that are the Town Hall 8s coming in, um, I mean, you're going to be progressing through all the way up to Town Hall 9, 15, 15 heroes, your half Lego walls, the, the minimum requirements for Invicta. As soon as you hit... As soon as you hit that level, it's an automatic transition. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to reapply or anything like that. Automatic transition to your evaluation period for promotion. Uh, and for the town hall eights nowadays, I mean, we're looking. You're looking at a good three or four months out until you hit that. Uh, so by that time, uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be assuming that Invicta will be full since uh, One Hive Swarm right now is just pumping out some high quality product. So later on down the road, Swarm will be the clan you guys are trying are being evaluated for or trying to get into. Um, now that doesn't take away any promotion up to Invicta or to no. I mean, I'm, a beast attacker is a beast attacker. If if you deserve it, you're gonna get the promotion. Mm -hmm. But at the time right now uh for going from one hive venom to one hive invicta okay later on down the road it'll go from venom 
So obviously, I mean, obviously our goal, right, is to fill 2.0 and have it stable with, you know, 40 plus members yes. that are warring. Uh, and then we're going to trickle that down and make sure Invicta is in the same state. Uh, so what you're saying basically is a max town hall eight now, there's a good chance by the time they are qualified to move into Invicta, Invicta might be full, quote unquote. Uh, so that would mean, you know, the next clan down the chain is one hive swarm that we're going to be building in the same fashion uh, for as Invicta. Victa. Um, so it just kind of depends on the timing of everything. But I mean, like you said, if you're, you get your 15, 15 heroes, you're a town hall nine, you're going in at three star and everything. Well, I'm sure one hive of Victa is going to scoop you up real quick. Um, so I uh, don't let, don't let that discourage you. Uh, just cause you're a town hall eight thinking that you're never going to get into a Victor or 2.0 eventually, but, um, it's going to happen. It, I mean, we've always said we promote based on performance, uh, not necessarily seniority, not necessarily, Anything. I mean, I'm sure there's some Invicta guys that can vouch for that non-seniority fact. Uh, there's some guys that were Invicta for just our core Invicta guys for so long. They've all been promoted now since to 2.0, but um, it, it is a performance-based system, guys, right? Uh, we keep track of everyone's stats. We keep track of, of just everything and monitor your, your progress. Uh, so if you deserve it, like DWS said, you are going to be moved up. So um, I just think this is a really good way to get all the players groomed into the one hive system um, even earlier than Town Hall 9. So um, do you have anything else you'd like to add about uh, Venom? You know, what uh, some tips about, uh, about attack styles maybe or um, anything like that, that you could tell anyone that would help them, uh, trying to get in for a tryout? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, but I'm, I mean, hands down, the easiest attack anybody can do at Town Hall 8 is just, uh, like a mass hog. That's, that's, you know, that's your safe route. That's your go-to. Uh, so what we're looking for is if that's okay for you during war, we want to, we obviously, we want you to get the three star, uh, but we also want to see a little bit of diversity, like uh, like you were saying earlier. Town Hall Eight, you're you're you know, you're getting a very deep you know, hand into the war scene. So getting well versed with those the the Go Vajos, the Go Valos, uh, stuff like that will very uh, it, it'll it'll pop you out very quickly. Uh, uh, and it'll raise a lot of attention. It'll let us know that you have the fundamentals we're looking for. Uh, and those are the kind of things that we ultimately want you to be able to do once you make that transition to Hall 9. Okay. Yeah, the, the earthquake spells really, really opened up a lot, I think, for Town Hall 8. Uh, because it made oh, yes. it made Valks a lot more viable. Um, and, and, I mean, there's other, you know, other styles of attacks. I mean... Uh, it's, it's a whole different ball game when you're doing an attack without an archer queen. I mean, I, I know myself, I've been so accustomed to having an archer queen for so long. Um, I think like you had said, it really shows people know what they're doing when they're, they're using different styles of attacks and taking out targets, um, using Valks or using their King, uh, you know, finding that double giant bomb and really disabling it before you send in the rest of your hogs. I mean, anybody can just build, bring 30 hogs and spam them at the base and hope that they don't hit the jump. They don't hope that the person hasn't set up their DGB properly. Um, but that's not right. going to get you in. Uh, you really need to do showcase, I guess, a little bit of your knowledge of, of the war scene. I mean, you don't right. have to know everything. The whole purpose of Venom is to get you in with some guys who do know a lot and can help you progress, but you at least need to know you have a, exactly. a basic idea is what you're saying. Okay. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, guys, one high Venom, check it out. Uh, it's definitely, definitely uh, going to be built into a really strong Town Hall 8 clan. I, I think that you said the wait list is getting pretty long already. Um, we want to continue yeah. to keep it flowing though. So guys, if you don't get your application, um, replied to instantly, don't be uh, discouraged. <laughs> it is a bit of a process getting everybody, uh, everybody in and making sure that, uh, everyone is a legit attacker and whatnot. Um, so just be patient. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention as well is, you know, uh, DWS has the hog rider series going, uh, guys, you know, keep applying for this cause this really helps get your clan exposed. Uh, I think we've made some really great, uh, not, not only we've, we not only had a really great, uh, some great wars with people, but I feel like DWS, you are making 
some really good relationships with other clans and other people and just getting right, contacts. Right. Um, anything you can mention about that? Like, how's that going for you? Um, yeah, I, I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I had a lot of things going that I just, I really, uh, I couldn't devote the quality time that I, that I already given the, the clans I've been to already. Uh, so I kind of took a little bit of a break. Uh, and actually, I'm in a clan right now, uh, and we're, I'm about to post their video here within the next day or two. Uh, and I have my next couple clans lined up. So I am getting back into that. Uh, but just like you said, I mean, the, the whole goal is I want to be able to go out there and, you know, help spark up this war community, this the fair play clans that are up and coming. They want to get into the big scene. Uh, so, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go out there, uh, build some positive relationships with more clans, uh, you know, get them motivated to get into the war scene because that helps us all out and, uh, and get your clan promoted. You know, the more people that see your clan, you know, the more people you're going to have in your clan, uh, or at least applying to it, uh, whether or not they make it, you know, uh, that's for, you know, to each their own, they have to go through their own tryout process, but uh, that's the goal, and I do. I'm posting a couple here in the next, you know, week or two. That's it's awesome, man. You're doing just a great job with that. The comments I see that go around YouTube uh, about that series, just people are so appreciative of it, and I think we feel, you know, it's a mutual, mutual respect for uh, between us and these other clans. And like I said, we're just we're building relationships, right? We're building building outside of just the core FPC, I guess you could say, and we're really looking for those up and coming clans. So, awesome job with that, man. Just right, wanted right. to say that. Uh, Thank another you. thanks. Another little piece I just want to mention, obviously, Katic and I uh, are rolling out with this Slay My Base series. Uh, that seems to be going really well, getting a lot of good feedback, have a lot of bases in queue. Uh, so guys, just with all these things we're doing, just cut us a little slack and please be patient. Uh, we're doing our best to get to everybody and uh, and get you guys promoted out there. Um, so guys, uh, check out our clan, uh, our website, sorry, onehiveclan.com. Uh, I will post the link. I think it is there already, though, in the comment section underneath. You can find out more information about all these things. One Hive Venom, the Hog Rider series, and Slay My Base series. All is there for you uh, for you guys to check out. So uh, anything else you'd like to add at this point, DW? Uh, no, that's it, brother. Okay, well, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Appreciate your insight. I think for having me. Yeah, no problem. That'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just try to help you guys bag that next tree star. Until then, we're out.